Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Mon type run of EV Emerald. I got some stuff to talk about before we move on, so I'll do a little XP grinding while I talk. Last time, we acquired our starter, Beldum. Then we caught ourselves a whole bunch of Zigzagoon, made our way to Petalburg City, and watched Wally take us through the Force Capture tutorial. The objective for this episode is to reach Rustboro City. I'm aiming to get these out once a week, maybe more or less often, depending on my schedule, with a length of maybe 10 to 20 minutes per episode. God damn it, hit the damn worm pole, will ya? Anyway, I had intended to start recording this a few days ago, but my controller quite literally fell apart in my hands, so I had to order a new one. Also, I wanted to correct something I said last time. My first Monotype playthrough wasn't Poison Types and Fire Red, it was Dark Types and Emerald version. I started off with Mightyena, and the rest of my team in that run was Houndoom, Sableye, Cacturn, Sharpedo, and Murkrow. It was a hacked version, so I could get Pokemon I normally wouldn't be able to. Furthermore, one more thing. I'm going to bring this up now before it becomes an issue later. From my test playthrough, I discovered that the developer of this hack somehow managed to... Well, I'm not sure what they did, but the level transitions don't always work properly. One of the locations being Heidelberg Woods. There's one later that will softlock your game unless you get a working wall hack, or warp code, or edit the map. We'll discuss that when we get there. Allegedly, there's a new version that fixes this, but all I've been able to find is version 1.0, so I'm going to have to fix some things as we go along. Anyway, let's back, get back to the Pokemon Center, heal, and get moving. So, some of you may ask, Am I just going to record Pokemon games? Probably not. The reason I started with this one is because they're relatively easy to make. I might record some other stuff, like... Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. I might put up to a vote on some Discord servers. Oh yeah! Here's Scott, your stalker. We're going to be seeing a lot of him later. Okay, next thing's going to be to battle some of the trainers. The Zigzagoon. I don't know if that crit was really necessary, but okay, we take those. And next up is C Dot. Now, C Dot can be a little dangerous early on because it knows Bide. And while it's not usually that difficult to knock them out before they can use it, if you can't, well, you're probably going to be knocked out. Not to mention, it is kind of tanky if you don't have a super effective move. Up to level 10. Okay. There's this hidden item somewhere on this beach, but I forgot where it is. It's an antidote, I think? Which would be useless, because steel types can't get poisoned. But let's talk to this fisherman and fight him and his level 9 magic harp. Oh, you poor son of a bitch. And that's taken care of. Anyway, let's move on. Pick up these items. I know the Petra Berries are useless. It's just, eh. I could sell them for a little bit of money. Might as well. And let's take care of battling this lady. So, the thing that's funny about the this lady and the rich boy is uh, they use full restores on low-level Zigzagoon, just because they can. I don't think that's going to help her this time, though. And, uh, well, nope, she didn't get to use it. Sorry, but you're not going to bribe your way to victory this time. 
Anyway, it looks like I need to go back and heal, so I am going to cut this for a moment. I will be right back. And we're back! Anyway, so while I was away, other than healing, I bought some more Pokeballs. I caught a Wingle, which we'll use later for Fly and Surf. And I got into another battle on the way back, so I lost some of the hit points that I'd gotten. And, eh, it shouldn't matter. Now, I'm gonna show you what's wrong with Petalbrook Woods. See if you can spot it. Hmm! Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to show up here. This is a bit of an exploit, so, eh. No, we're not gonna do this. We're gonna do this the right way. Let's jump back down here. And actually, before we go to the left, let's grab that couple of items over here. There's like a... I think there's a Pokeball and something else? Or is it two Pokeballs? I can't remember. I know one of them's a Pokeball. Yeah, Clear Body's a really nice ability. Your stats can't be reduced by opponents. You can still reduce your own stats with moves like, say, Overheat or Superpower. Oh, that's right. One of them was a Pokeball. And the other one was a Potion. Hmm. Ah, crap. Forgot about that! Okay, let's go back down and do this the right way. Talk to this bug catcher. This guy has a full team. First trainer to do so in this run. But... Or, never mind, no, I'm thinking of a different trainer. This guy is only four. And this is not going to take me long at all. Well, it's not going to take me long, provided that Takedown cooperates. That's two down. There's three. Hmm. I need to keep an eye on Takedown's power points. I think it's like 20 or... Yeah, 20 max. Uh, I'm fine, I can just use a potion and move on. And there's Lyle. 48 yen, so... Uh, I can't keep track of exchange rates these days with how inflation is. But... Let's just say that's roughly the equivalent to 50 cents. That's not as impressive as it might look at a glance. Alright, so... Yeah, super, super potion and escape rope. Those are useful. And... Of course it misses. Again, have to take whatever experience I can because, well, Beldum is in the slow level up group, so it's going to take a while to evolve it. Which I may have to do to be able to beat Roxanne. Okay, now we get to the encounter with the Team Aqua Grunt. <clears throat> I don't know if it was ever revealed what these research papers are supposed to be for. Is it something to do with the submarine? And boom goes the dynamite! Level 11. 
Making good speed here. Means here we get a great ball. So that's two of them, I think. Didn't pick up anything new. Just to be careful. Nah, I don't need that. I think we're okay. Silcoon. I'm not even gonna bother with that. If I don't knock it out, it's just gonna spam harden and waste my power points. And this guy has, I think, two Ninkata. <clears throat> Which is your first encounter with ground types in this game. Not that that really means anything. Hmm. Maybe I should have healed. We'll see. Yeah, I think I got to go back to Pokemon Center after this. Yes, I could just use a potion or something, but... Well, there's a double battle coming up, and if I have to use... Well, if I have more than one Pokemon, it'll force me into it. And I don't have multiple Steel types, so I'm just gonna skip that. Yeah, now I ha definitely have to heal. Because unfortunately, Takedown just does not want to cooperate today. Okay, that's done. Kid, I don't think you're ever going to be popular. Let's be honest. Okay, here's another Pokeball. I'll never turn those down. Another item here. And here we are, back where we... Well, technically came in, but we're not supposed to. I'm gonna cut this again, go back to Pokemon Center, deposit my Zigzagoon, be right back. And we're back again after depositing the Zigzagoon in the PC box. And first, let's show you where you get the first TM in the game. Bullet Seed. So, if, you're pick, if you pick Trico at the start, or if you have a Seed Odd or a Shroomish and you want a better Grass-type attack than Absorb, this is a good one to pick up. And for early in the game, it's actually a decent attack, all things considered. So up here is a couple of items, some of them are hidden. You get a Pokeball. Potion. And I think the last item's a Super Potion. Well, first, let's see what this is. A Wormpole. No surprises there. You're not worth it. We got a couple of trainer battles up ahead. I want to save my hit points. Ooh! That's a Pokemon you don't find much around here. Hmm. Catch it or not. Eh, I could use it for things like strength later. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch it. I'll just use a Great Ball. What would we call it? Oh, yeah. We'll call it Lyra. After the, uh... The, uh, well... Not Chris... Character... In HeartGold and Soul Silver. Seriously, what's her with her goofy-ass hat? 
Anyway, so here we get the Wilmer Pale, and there's another chick we'll talk to who will give us a berry. I don't know if we'll be using this at all during the playthrough. This is just purely for demonstrative purposes. And now, we move on to our next trainer battle. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. Hmm, I have a lot of money. Okay. And you'll be giving me a good chunk of that. That smarmy son of a bitch. And it looks like you're not getting a chance to use your full restore either. GG, no re. Why couldn't I win? Skill always beats wealth. So, hello, Tad. And I think her second Pokemon was a Shroomish. Yep. And nope, not knocked out. The effects board didn't trigger either, so that's nice. That, or maybe it did, but it selected poison, and of course, I'm immune to poison. Level 12. We're just gonna heal real quick. Nah, never mind. Because there's only like one other trainer, and I think it's a fisherman. So, in Ruby and Sapphire, all the double battles except for the seventh gym are optional. That is not the case in Emerald Version. Hmm? Okay. This is supposed to let me skip the battle. What? Oh! Right, the Meryl. My bad. Let me see. Well, I can't use attacking moves, so we'll just use... Defense scroll. Ah, oh, damn it! Just hit the fucking target. Uh, this is gonna get tedious. Come on, really? Okay, definitely not gonna be attacking Seed off now. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that chance. And take down. Yep, enough hardens to survive that. That's unfortunate. Oh well, if I hit it one more time, it'll be out. And there goes C-Dot. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, in Ruby and Sapphire, all double battles except for Tate and Liza are optional. In Emerald version, if I recall correctly, that is not the case. Unless you have only one Pokemon on your party. In which case, well, they won't... 
They won't challenge you. And if you talk to them, you'll have the trainer say something to the effect of, oh, we only do double battles. He thinks he's the water type expert. Does he have any idea how many water monotypes I've done? Oh, by the way, for those of you looking to do monotypes yourself, do water types first. They're the easiest. You get to use your starter. There's a lot of very powerful water types out there. It's They're generally overpowered. And there we go, that should be the last trainer battle for this session. But there's a couple more things we're gonna do before we wrap up. First, get these berries. Up oh, the berries, that'll still be... If I do plant any berries at all, it'll probably be those because they're basically free ethers. Or either, I guess, would be pronounced. You get another berry for this broad right here. Okay. There's one more item we're gonna grab. It's up here. It is an X event. I almost never use X items. They're just... They're vendor trash. And we have arrived in Rustboro City. I think this is where we're going to wrap it up. Next time, we will be training for the first gym battle. See you next time.